Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh There are all participants of the 6th International Conference on Biophysical Technology in Dentistry Thank you very much to join this session with our presentation So, let me introduce myself I am Fadli Rum from Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Department Hasanuddin University In this session, I will try to explain our literature review conduct with our supervisor Dr. Gigi Yosi Yoanita Aristiana Specialist Bedah Mulut Consultant entitled Management of Ameloblastoma, a case series and literature review. Introduction Ameloblastoma is a benign tumor of the jaw originating from tooth forming tissue which is an email tissue that does not undergo differentiation during the process of forming teeth. It is locally aggressive with unlimited growth capacity and has a high potential for malignant transformation, about 70% of case. It can cause destruction of the cortical bone. Treatment and prognosis of ameloblastoma are all depend upon the variant of the ameloblastoma. Six histopathologic variants of ameloblastoma are recognized. Follicular, plectiform, acantomatous, basal cell, granular cell, and de desmoplastic. The follicular and plexiform pattern are more common. Mandibular lesion account the nearly 80% of the ameloblastoma and occur in maxilla is rare. The clinical radiologic group, namely solid or multikistic, unikistic, and peripheral are recognized. The radiological diagnosis of ameloblastoma include intraoral radio radiography, extraoral radiography, or OPG and cephalogram, CBCT, CT scan, and MRI. Both primary and recurrent ameloblastoma are treated by either surgical or non-surgical approach. The surgical approach could be conservative or type 1 or radical type 2 surgery. The conservative surgical treatment could be in the form of curetase, cyrosurgery, and inoculation with curetase or dredging. Conservative surgery preserves the patient normal tissue, minimizes facial disfiguration, and supports adequate quality of life post-surgery, but it is prone the higher recurrence especially if the ameloblastoma is the aggressive subtype. Radical treatment include marginal resection, segmental resection, and hemimandibulectomy. Radical sur surgical treatment is cus customarily the treatment of choice for biological aggressive subtype of primary and recurrence ameloblastoma. It involves and block tumor resection with white bone margin followed by immediately or delayed bone reconstruction of the surgical defect with tissue graft and prosthetic rehabilitation. Case report This report describes a patient with a diagnosis of primary ameloblastoma treated during the period from April 2019 to August 2021 at Halima Densikati Dental Hospital, Table 2. The eight case consisted of four male patients and four female patients with an age range of 19 to 64 years. A lesion were in the mandibular region of varying size. The chief complaint in all patients was a painless swelling of the mandibular that was getting bigger slowly. Each patient underwent clinical examination, OPG X-ray, and CT scan. Prior to surgery, blood test and his x-ray were performed. All patient was diagnosed with ameloblastoma by means of histological examination of biopsy specimen. The method of treatment consisted of conservative treatment, inoculation, and inoculation with bone curatase or dredging, and radical surgery or marginal resection and hemimandibulectomy, or patient demographic and clinical data presented in the table 2. Table 2, Patient Demographic and Clinical Data Enucleation with bone curatase was defined as the procedure in which the ameloblastoma was enucleated in conjunction with excision of the overlying mucosa and subsequently sufficient bone curatase. During the dredging, some part of the new bone is also removed with the scar tissue to determine the presence of remaining tumor cell histopathologically. When the nerve was exposed in the surgical field, it was lifted out from the mandibular canal when correcting the bone avoid damage to the nerve. After surgery, patients with dredging saw its improvement and were prepared for the next surgical procedure. Figure 1. 
This is one of the patient diagnosed with ameloblastoma in the mandibula sinistra treated by inoculation method. Radical surgery was defined as the procedure in which the ameloblastoma was resected, with a safety margin of at least 2 cm of normal bone, with or without a continuity defect. In the case of hemimandibulectomy surgery, 3D stereolithography model was previously made to assist the adjustment of the reconstruction plate. After surgery, no recurrence saw it in the patient with hemimandibulectomy and marginal resection. The patient also saw it improvement in the shape of the lower third of the face. Figure 2. This is one of the patients diagnosed with ameloblastoma in the mandibular sinistra treated by hemimandibulectomy method. Discussion. Ameloblastoma is characterized by a slow growth pattern and can grow to a very large size and cause superficial deformities. It is usually asymptomatic and does not cause a change in sensory to the nerve function. It is well recognized that ameloblastomas occur the more frequently in the mandible than in the maxilla and that the tumors are located predominantly in the body and posterior mandible. Tumor site occur for region, namely the maxillary posterior 10.4%, anterior maxillary 2.1%, posterior mandibula 81.3%, and anterior mandibula 6.3%. Most patients with an ameloblastoma age between 30 and 60 years, only 15% of cases of ameloblastoma occur in the child population. Panoramic radiography is the first step in diagnosing ameloblastoma with radiographic image that vary depending on the type of tumor. The most frequent radiographic appearance of multicystic ameloblastoma is multilocular lesion, which are often described as soap bubble when the lesion is large, and honeycomb if the lesion is small. Uniquely, ameloblastoma appears as unilocular radiolucent lesion with well-defined border around of unerupted teeth. CT examination is recommended if the swelling is hard and fixed to the surrounding tissue. It is usually useful for identifying the contour of the lesion, the content of the lesion, and extension to the soft tissue. When planning the treatment of ameloblastoma, it is important to understand the growth characteristic and to remove the full extent of the tumor including the surrounding tissue, according to OHC and Garner, indication of conservative treatment is in people of young age and unikistic ameloblastoma. Indication of radical treatment is the solid type ameloblastoma with unclear edge, lesion with a description of bubble soap, ineffective lesion with conservative management, and large size ameloblastoma. The remaining tumor cell may lead to multiple morbidity of recurrence. Conservative therapy has a high recurrence rate, reaching 16% compared to 10% in therapy with radical resection. Conclusion As a conclusion, ameloblastoma is one of the most common benign tumor, especially in the mandibular region. The choice of appropriate treatment depends on the extent and size of the lesion, and also magnitude of the tissue involved the histological structure of the tumor and the benefit to be obtained. The appropriate treatment can also reduce the chance of recurrence. Acknowledgement As acknowledgement, the authors will say thank you to the committee of the 6th ICOBTD 2021 Faculty of Dentistry Hasanuddin University, the Hasanuddin University Hospital and the Dental Hospital of Hasanuddin University for their assistance and cooperation, especially to the entire team of oral and maxillofacial surgery department Hasanuddin University for their support. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can send it in my email drg.fadliroom at gmail.com.